Hello everybody, today we have Lenovo ADF3 laptop. We'll take it apart, we'll see if we can fix it, replace parts or upgrade. Let's start. Let's start with the bottom screws. Now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So find the gap between these two parts and then use plastic sponger to pry off the bottom. The bottom is out. Here we have part number. Now we have access to all the components, so let's start with disconnecting the battery. Pull out the connector. Now let's unscrew all the screws for the battery. So if your battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. Here we have the model number for the battery. Now here we have the SSD drive, that's our storage. So if your laptop doesn't boot, tells you that there is no uh, boot device or you would like to upgrade storage to the bigger capacity, that's how you can do it. That's the NVMe drive. Now let's check the memory. So here under the cover, there should be memory. So that's our additional slot. Some memory is soldered on the motherboard. So you can add memory and upgrade your laptop. Um, now we can take out the Wi-Fi card. So if your Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. That's our Wi-Fi card. Here we have the model and part number. Now we can take out our speakers. So if you disconnected from the motherboard then it's held by rubber grommets only no screws so if your sound is bad you can replace this part those are our speakers Here we should have the part number. So now let's take out the heatsink fan. So if your cooling is bad or the fan is making grinding noise, replace this part. You can disconnect the fan from the motherboard. Here 
Do we have the pipe number? And now let's lift the heat sink. Be careful, don't bend it. It will not work if you bend it. Right, so that's our heat sink. Here we have the part number. Now we can disconnect the I.O. board. That's our card reader and USB port. So disconnect it from the motherboard. Take out the screw. Okay, so part of the board is under the hinge. So let's unscrew the hinge. So that's our USB port and card reader. Here we have the part number. Now we can take out our motherboard. So let's disconnect the keyboard and all the connectors for the touchpad and other boards. That's our video cable for the screen. Now let's see. Take out all the screws that you see holding the motherboard. So there should be one more screw here. Oh, and the screw for the hinge covers the motherboard as well. So let's take it out. So let's take out the motherboard. It's glued to the cooling shield on the back, so... Okay, so that's our motherboard. Here we have the part number. So now we can take out our touchpad. That's our touchpad. And now we have left our keyboard farmers assembly with the power button. Here we have the part number. And that's our screen. Here we have the part number for it on the video cable. Screen usually is sold in one piece. That's the best way to buy it. If you're looking for parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.